Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so you're here for uh, your call to support uh, Ben Smith. Yeah, um, he fought the sixth round. Um, yeah, what would you make it? I think Ben fought a good fight. The guy was a tough guy, hard to go down. And I feel like Ben needs those, you know, those six rounds, it will do him good. He gets to go home to watch the fight back. Um, he gets to analyse how fit he is, the fitness, skill, um, the concentration level, you know, if it goes down as the rounds go on. Yeah. So I think he'll learn a lot from that fight. I suppose, obviously, being an Xbox prospect yourself, mm -hmm. when you're fighting, you know, it's a mm -hmm. fifth, sixth fight, mm -hmm. you don't really want to do any man that you're just going to knock over. Yeah. You kind of want the learning fight. But it's almost that pressure, and I feel like, I hope Ben doesn't let that really get he to him really kind of because all that pressure calm. the fans there and the fans are expecting you like to get him out of there in round one and when you don't the fans can sometimes get a bit disappointed and then they might not come out to your next fight fans just want so stuff, yeah right? that's what fans want boxing fans that's what they want they're like kids that just want a sweet or just want a toy yeah. and i feel like i hope his fans understand that it takes patience it's that ben's a really good guy he's a good fighter mm -hmm. i sparred him a few times i still spar him till yeah. now and yeah ben's, ben's good i think he'll go far yeah, no, definitely. I think um, you know he's, he's he's a nice chap, and mm -hmm. he looked like he was enjoying it there. I don't know if yeah. you saw it, but yeah, yeah, he's yeah, smiling yeah, and stuff, yeah. and that's when you know you're kind of in control. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And uh, you, you know you're not going to get a judgment. Mm -hmm. Cool. So yeah, um, yeah. Um, okay, well, you obviously um, you haven't boxed in is that September? Is it September? October. October. Obviously. October. I haven't boxed yet. Natural. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you want to get a little word? Uh, I retired. I retired after last fight. I think felt like I got done wrongly, so I retired. Oh, you officially like retired? Yeah, but Are you I'm, gonna do a nah, go I'm back now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're looking to fight again. Um, June, early June, mid June, end of June. So sometime in June, we're looking to fight again. I'm back in training now. I don't really post that much on my social media anymore, but I am back in the gym. Yeah, I know. It's like it was. Uh, who was I was talking to. I was talking to um, mm. I mean, Isaac or something, but just about like mm. um, people just kind of get shit. Mm. It's like you know, mm. I see just. Yeah. Some of the shit, and it's just mm. like, yeah. I don't know. Um, I'm not in that situation. Mm. And it's just like you know, at some point you you just like come off social media just because of the shit. You know? I just wanted to enjoy life a bit. You know, I've been boxing my whole life. I've had camp after camp after camp. I said to myself, you know what? Let me take a few months off, just to enjoy life, just to get to know myself and who I am, be around my friends and my family. Mm. And now I'm back. I'm ready to come back. It's weird because I, I think because you've had that time off, like mm. not. You've not been kind of in the news kind of thing, do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. It's, it's I think I'm not really want to be in the, in the news anymore. That's yeah. why I, I kept, I've done that on purpose. I don't want to be famous. I go out and people know me now, like, oh, hara, hara. I thought I would enjoy it, but I don't really enjoy it. Some, You know, sometimes, like the other day, I left my house and I had just had on a bathrobe and my slippers. I left my house, I went up, like, I, like you know, down like the local shop and I walked past this guy on his bike and, and his mate and then they look and back at me and they're like, Hara Davis, I'm like, oh, give me a break. I want to be able to, to be leave my house. In, in a dressing gown, yeah. you probably look a bit... I know, but <laughs> I just want to be able just to do things like that. Yeah. I want to be able to look rough. I don't want to have to present myself in a certain manner all the time. I want to be able to do what I want. I want to be able to like to go out in a nightclub and do and do and do something quite naughty and not get put in the news for it, or not or not Fortunately, have someone's or not have a phone camera in my face. But it's like the form is like, what is it? Yeah. Um, I don't know, you're not a massive football fan, but mm. the Evan goalkeepers was, yeah. was pictured recently. Yeah. And yeah. I don't know, man, it's like these days I feel uh, it's like as media, especially, are just trying to it's like they're planting people literally mm -hmm. just to kind of catch people out yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. Like, I just don't want to be, I don't want to be famous. Mm. I don't want to be famous. People feel like they do want to be famous. Remember the first time. I met Arj, he used to take me around everywhere with him, all around London, and I could see people stopping him, you asking him. Then, didn't you? So you yeah. probably had the kind of like, oh, you know, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. I see, I, I used to see people stopping Arj from Tawi, asking him, can I have a picture, can I have a picture? I used to get mobbed in the streets, and this is just before I turned pro, and I used to look at him, and I always to say, I wish I could, I wish that was me, and I can't wait until that's me one day. I'm going to be famous, I'm going to be known. People are going to want pictures and autographs, and when I've got it, I don't want it. You feel like you want that life until you get it. That's why I come on social media. I don't post as much. I don't want to be famous. I don't, I don't really want to be a superstar. I don't want to be a role model. I just want to be a normal person. Just do your job. I want to. F I want to fit in with a, you know. I, I want to fit in with the crowd. I don't want to have to be a standout. Other other people want that. They can have it. As for me, I don't want that anymore. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, it's one of the things, isn't it? Obviously, because you're quite well known. Mm, yeah. But it's, yeah. Um, Obviously, just going back to Sally, um, I know you've probably spoken about it fast, but the, you know the fight with Jack Cattrall and stuff, and judging and mm. stuff. Do you, do you think there's like a, a 
a bit of an issue with judging. Because no. we've seen it, we've seen it on that judge, Jack Catch is from Preston. The judge that gave it one eighteen, one ten, he was from Preston. He was the judge for Jack's last six fights before Jack fought me. He judged every Jack's, you know, every one of Jack's fights. So I feel like it was a conspiracy. These people, they're getting money somewhere. Someone's paying these guys. How do we? How do we? Stop. You I mean, can't. Do we, boxes, do we need more Xboxes no. as judges? Boxing's like a TV show. You get another, if you get an Xbox as a judge, everyone's a slave to the power note. You give them a power note, they will do what you want. The people that have the money are in power, are in control. And they're the people that we don't see. Boxing is like a TV show. It's, it's like the only way is Essex. It's like made. It's like made in Chelsea. It's like it's like Love Island. It's like it's all it's all like it's all like a storyline. The person that they want to win will win, and they put people and the right things in place because they got the money. They can do it. Um, boxing nowadays is not what it used to be in the days of Chris Eubank Senior, Nigel Ben. Boxing now is like a TV show. Everyone just wants to be famous and I can be stopped and asked for pictures and mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Have you um, spoke with Frank about? Uh, I'm not too sure what's next yet, we'll see. But all, all I know is that I'm expecting a return June. So, yeah. You kind of kick on for kind of yeah. enjoy. Yeah, I saw, I'll sort it all out in the next few weeks. Yeah. Right, listen, you've given us a few minutes of time. I appreciate mm. that. Is there any final words for anyone? <sighs> oh, what, uh, your social media? Uh, uh, add me on Instagram, yeah. at O'Hara Davis, Twitter, Facebook, um, Snapchat, at O'Hara Davis. Any shout outs or any. <laughs> I've never seen you guys before. What's your channel called? Uh, Grassroots Boxing. Gra oh, I've heard of you guys. I've heard of you guys. Grassroots Boxing. I've heard of you guys, but I've never seen you guys. Appreciate My that. first interview on Grassroots Boxing. Shout out. <laughs> oh, do two thanks. Bap. Cheers, nice one. <laughs>